The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Short Mood Review. Katniss and Peter are living in the Victor's Village after having both won The Hunger Games. They don't have much privacy anymore as they continue to be celebrities. And when President Snow personally appears at Katniss's house, she she can tell that something is wrong right off the bat, and he threatens her that if she does not do enough to quell the the rising up, you know, the gradual uprising, then she will have to pay the consequences. And Katniss, of course, can't help but wonder what her role should be now knowing that there is a genuine rebellion against the capital, should she encourage this, perhaps even join it? This does what good sequels do and builds upon the first and in, in several ways surpassing it. This is a much more real seeming world, it feels more lived in, and the the effects are a lot more convincing, the characters are more developed, when the first they feel somewhat like archetypes, excuse me, in this one they really get room to express different, different parts of their personality, and it, it flows quite naturally. It's in part because of the source material, where the first book is very much about setting up the world. The, the second one here does do more to develop these characters. And it's especially true of Pita, Gale, and Katniss herself, that th you get to see them in more different states of mind, and it yeah, they, they really get fleshed out as as people. And the acting is great. The the casting for all the new roles is spot on. The the very opening moments of several of the new tributes are just perfect for really setting the stage for what are these people like. It's it's tremendously well expressed through just the first thing they do. Now the... With, with all the acting being good, Jennifer Lawrence still shines above the rest. It's... She has tremendous talent and she really makes the role of Katniss. It's just a perfect choice. This one has a number of little stings of drama in the less action-heavy segments of the film to kind of keep the pace going and keep, you know, keep it from, go from growing stale. And what makes these unlike jump scares is the way they are all addressed and they all have consequences. One of the first ones shows that Katniss basically has some PTSD after the games and this makes great sense and again it helps flesh out the character. There's an aspect there to explore. The, the, this goes into some great themes of survival, government control, Rebellion, interdependence, inter, interdependence versus independence, and it it just really delves further into this world where you know celebrity and reality television is used to distract people from their real problems as the poor fight against other poor for the amusement of the rich, and rather than fighting the rich, as a way of keeping them down. And it's quite effective as a satire. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. 
I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.